Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing a Q&A video. I haven't done one of these in a long time, so I thought it was about time to do another one. I have gathered a lot of screenshots on my phone of questions that I will be answering that you guys submitted. I'm filming this on Thanksgiving morning, so I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving if you do celebrate. And let's go ahead and get started on with the video. So the first question is, what's your dream destination to travel? I actually have a lot. So some of them I would say is like Greece, Australia. I would love to also go to Spain and overall just like Europe. I would also really love to go to Africa actually. I feel like there's so many, I cannot pick one, but those are definitely some of the ones that I really, really would love to travel to one day. Let me know your dream destination down below in the comments if you have one as well. The next question says, what is your ultimate life goal? This is really like, this is an intense question. The first thing that pops up when I think about this question is to help people. I want to help kids specifically, I would say. I mean, overall, I want to help people who um, grow up in communities that are low income, that don't have like resources, like stuff like that. I would love to help um, kids and families like that. The next question is any career plans? I think in terms of career, I would love to be able to do YouTube, honestly, as a full time. One day, I feel like that's just a goal that I really want to achieve one day. And obviously like owning my own business as well, um, whether it is within like the YouTube community or within design or any kind of like interest of mine. The next question is how are you staying healthy and happy while in quarantine? Well, <laughs> girl, it is hard. I have had a crazy quarantine time, a crazy year. I feel like it's a crazy year for all of us in general. And I think for me, it's just been a constant like up and down situation. I cannot say that I have been fully happy for the whole quarantine, nor can I say that I'm fully happy for longer than three weeks. Um, like it just, it's a constant up and down for me. So there's stages where I've become like even more insecure. There's stages where I really kind of like stopped taking care of myself. There's stages like, it's been a constant up and down for me. And I would love to know your your experience um, during quarantine as well. The next question is, how do you stay motivated in these times? I think one of the things that really motivates me when I am going through a rough time and especially through these times is to look at the things that I am grateful for. I try to remind myself and I literally write this down on my notepad when I write my to-do list. Um, I love writing down what I'm grateful for. I think another thing that also helps me to stay motivated is doing things that I enjoy. So for example, YouTube is something that I really love and that itself just like I love. Like I, when I love doing something, I try to put my whole work and like so much time into it. So I think doing things that you enjoy and that you're passionate about is something to really help with staying motivated and also looking at the things that you're grateful for, like the things that you have, like your family, the health of your family, your friends, and those kinds of things also help a lot with staying motivated. The next question is, are you bilingual? Have you been to Peru? Okay, there's three questions in this. Okay, let's start with the first one. Are you bilingual? Yes, I speak Spanish and English. So sometimes in my vlogs, you guys will see that I speak Spanish and I have my family that speaks Spanish. So you will see a little bit of bilingualness in the vlog specifically because that's when I'm spending time with my friends or my family and stuff like that. I want to incorporate my channel and I want to incorporate my link my Spanish into my videos so you will see my Spanish basically in my vlogs that I do on this channel um probably on the sit down videos if you guys want a straight up like Spanish video of like anything then I will literally do it but yes I am bilingual and I love it honestly let me know if you're bilingual because I would love to know and like what languages specifically are you bilingual in so I my I guess mine would be like Spanish and English the next question is, have you been to Peru? I have, I was actually born in Peru. So I was born in Peru and I moved to the US when I was eight years old and I am now 24. So I have been here for longer than I have lived in Peru. I did go to Peru recently, uh, well not recently, but like a couple years ago, I would say like three years ago. That was the last time that I went, um, but then I was 
living in Peru for a very long time. Okay, the next question is biggest surprise being on YouTube. This is a really good question that I don't think I have ever been asked. I think honestly the thing that kind of <laughs> I think honestly the thing that comes to mind would be being able to connect with people. I think overall beyond YouTube, like even social media, like, you know, like overall just social media just kind of blows my mind in terms of how obviously it has its negatives, but in the positive side, the way that I look at it, it's that it's a really great tool to connect with people that you otherwise would have never met like in person. And I think that's what is the biggest surprise with me. It's very inspiring because you're able to connect with people like other YouTubers, you're able to like interact with them, like you're able to get to know people who are probably like on a different country but like you still get to meet them through like, you know, like in my connection with them through the internet and through YouTube, through social media overall. I don't know, I, th I think that's so cool and I think that's something that I didn't really think about until I started doing YouTube because I realized that like I was somehow making like a positive impact with videos that I would post and that made me really happy. So I think that's been something that stood out and that continues to, to stand out like when I make videos and it's just really cool. I feel like it's really cool. Okay, next question is favorite color, movie, or person. Favorite color would be, actually it has recently changed my favorite color. It used to be blue, now it's like lavender. I love lavender color. Like the purplish kind of color. It's not like a bright or dark, but it's like a really pretty lavender. It's so, so pretty and that's currently my favorite color. Favorite movie, I don't think I have one to be honest. I really love The Notebook. Um, that's the only one that I can think of right now. Favorite person, I think this is hard. I think honestly, my favorite person has got to be my grandma. I like, I love my grandma with all my heart. And you know, I love a lot of people with all my heart, but I think my grandma holds like a, and my mom, my grandma and my mom kind of like are on the same page to be honest. But I, I love like them and they have to be like, probably my favorite person, my favorite people, my favorite two main people, I guess you could say. For sure, I just hold like uh, so much love and like respect and just, uh, I adore them, so. Dream vacation. So my dream vacation actually would probably be going to, I think it's called Bora Bora. I don't know, or like something along the lines of that, or even if it's Hawaii, but it would be with like a bunch of friends, like, 10 friends, 10 of my closest friends, like just a bunch of us, like a group of us. I would, I have always wanted to go on a trip, like a vacation trip, but like an island kind of scenery, like the beach and all that stuff with a group of like big friends. Um, the last time that I did a big group trip was incredible i loved it it was so much fun and i would love it was actually from college with a club that i was in the peruvian club but i hope and wish that the day comes where um once things are over and things are open and everything's um okay i would love to go on a big group trip to kind of like an island or like hawaii or something the next question is my zodiac sign. I am a Taurus. I was born May 8th, so I'm a Taurus. The next question is who said I love you first? So I think this is talking about my boyfriend and me. Um, actually, funny story. <laughs> um, he said I love you first, but I didn't hear it. Like, my mind didn't really click. Like, it wasn't like a, like, loud I love you. And I just kind of let it pass. Um, but then the next time he said it, I actually like like we we talked about it and I told him that yeah he did and it was I think it was it was a while ago I think next question is can you sing uh so I can I think but I'm not like a singer um I actually wanted to be a singer I therefore like did a lot of classes and stuff but I didn't fully like really like you know go for like singing career or anything i think i just it was just something that i love music and i wanted to try it and i would just take classes in like piano guitar and, and singing and honestly when i was little i wanted to be a singer but i think as i grew up i was just kind of like i don't think that's for me um i don't think i'm talented like that um, 
If you were given a million dollars, what would you do with it? I love this question. I've actually talked about this with um, Caesar and my best friend. I would definitely want to buy a home, but I would also want to help people. So I think I would invest some of the money, but also get a financial advisor in order for me to be able to help um, like low income families or low income people in, in poor countries and stuff like that. Um, and then also obviously buy a home, hopefully in the Bay Area. Um, so yeah, I would try to get a financial advisor first uh, to see if I can invest the money and to make obviously make more of it. Um, and then therefore buy a house, maybe buy, um, or help out my friends in some way that they need. Do you like roller coasters? <laughs> I only like roller coasters at Disneyland or Universal Studios, so I am not the biggest fan in general. I'm a scared, so scared of fright. Of, I'm so scared of heights, so I'm just like not a big fan of roller coasters where you can actually see like and look down and see how high you are. So I love the Disneyland ones or the Universal ones where um, like I forgot the name, but there was one that I went on that it was like pitch black and it was a roller coaster. I think it was Space Mountain and there was only like little stars and I was having the time of my life. Um, I was not scared at all because I couldn't see like what was going on, but at the same time it was like I got the adrenaline rush so I do to an extent only at Disneyland and like Universal Studios. What kind of music do you like? I love love Spanish music you guys I am like I'm on my jam with like Bad Bunny and like all those types of music I love Spanish music so that has to be like my go-to um I would say I really love just in general like Ariana Grande is a queen I love love her music as well best advice you can give someone your age Whew. okay this is the last question and I feel like this is a really hard question. I could talk about this for hours when we're at this age. It's a really hard age. We are in the middle of like trying to figure ourselves out and trying to figure life out. And like you feel like you need to have your stuff put together or like you're late and you have no time. But we do have time. We have a lot of time and there's so much to be grateful for. And yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I hope you're having a beautiful day or night. And I will talk to you guys next on my video, which will be Vlogmas. So if you don't know, I'm going to be doing Vlogmas. So I am vlogging December 1st to the 25th. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will talk to you guys next on my next video. Bye guys.